Yeah. All right, so we're doing a uh, delta V test. We're testing input output 17, and there's the Wago strip, and it is working. We're going straight out of the delta V with our cable, and we got my man Denny from Trecon over here running the show, the master delta V programmer. cool. One of the nice things about this too, it gives you uh, spots right here to uh, test your, uh, if you want to test your cable, it's got, uh, those are spots to put your voltmeter in. Phoenix doesn't have that on theirs. And there is a spot there, you can put a marker there if you want to mark the cable. So that's another little thing. Right, let's try the next group. And channel 8. Good. So we're doing the uh, bottom inputs. one should be 32. Oh, the top one, you're going to do the top one, that should be 25. 25. Now we're doing the discrete input mod, yeah, discrete that's uh, that's right. input module. The one. I'm running 24 volts into the Wago rail. And that's it is 32, working. channel 32. Alright, let's do the next two. Alright. Group. This is the last group of 32, the last eight. Okay. The top one should be channel 17. That's right. Okay. And then the next one should be 24. There you go. That's it. All working. Compared to the Phoenix stuff. Yeah. So if I want to move that one relay, just pop it over, right out. Pulls right out. Yeah, that's nice. What, one other point is. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Where you put your markers here, you do not have to cut your markers out if you ever have to take a relay out. That's right. That's right. With ours, it's separate from where it uh, covers the relay or something. Yep. 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 So that's another thing, another nice thing. All right. Uh, one other thing, um, when examining the internal workings of uh, relay cards between us and Phoenix Contact, this is the Phoenix Contact one here on the uh, left, you can see they have a lot of loose components. You can hear the jiggling. It makes a great musical instrument, but uh, I don't know for a relay card. I'm not sure about that. Ours is all locked down on a circuit board. In fact, you could take our cover off without damaging this. When I actually took the cover off, it actually damaged the whole relay. You can't even take the cover off. I can put my cover right back on my relay as well. Um, so it's a you know kind of a difference there between what uh, this is made by a, a, a robot. This is probably made hand assembled somewhere. Who knows where? Uh, and that's um, 